Ever pondered why some individuals seem to radiate positivity, while others seem mired in negativity? It's not magic or luck that steers one's life towards positivity. It's a conscious choice that's nurtured through daily habits and attitudes. Today, we'll explore five ways to be more positive and kick out the negativity. First, cultivate gratitude. It's astonishing how a simple thank you can transform your day. Gratitude is the recognition of the good in your life. It's appreciating the sunrise, the smell of fresh coffee, or the laughter of a loved one. When you train your mind to seek the good in every situation, you'll find that positivity becomes second nature. Remember, as Melody Beatty once said, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. Second, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the art of being present, of living in the now. It's about letting go of past regrets and future anxieties, focusing instead on the present moment. When you practice mindfulness, you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions, making it easier to steer them towards positivity. John Kabat-Zinn reminds us that mindfulness means being awake. It means knowing what you are doing. Third, stay active. Physical activity is not just good for your body, but also for your mind. It boosts your mood, reduces stress, and promotes a positive outlook. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a game of soccer, find an activity you enjoy and make it part of your routine. As Edward Stanley said, those who think they have not time for bodily exercise will sooner or later have to find time for illness. Fourth, surround yourself with positive people. The company you keep has a significant impact on your outlook. Positive people inspire you, support you, and help you see the bright side of life. They are the ones who lift you up when you're down and celebrate your successes. As motivational speaker Jim Rohn said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Finally, practice self-compassion. Often we are our own harshest critics. We berate ourselves for our mistakes, amplifying our negativity. But when you practice self-compassion, you treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you'd extend to a friend. Remember, as Buddha said, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. To summarize, cultivating positivity isn't about ignoring life's difficulties. It's about choosing to focus on the good despite the challenges. Cultivate gratitude, practice mindfulness, stay active, surround yourself with positive people, and practice self-compassion. These five steps will steer your life towards positivity and help kick out the negativity. Remember, as Helen Keller once said, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow.